Our latest collaboration is with Convet, a developer platform that enables easy integration of Gen AI powered game characters. Exclusive tonight, we take you inside the company called OpenAI Artificial Intelligence, their new technology, GPT-4. NVIDIA ACE is a technology platform that brings digital avatars to life with generative AI. Um, so like right now we have, an, we have AI systems that can do tasks. They certainly can't do jobs, but they can do tasks. Here at CES, we are announcing ACE production microservices for audio to face and automatic speech recognition. The current landscape. In the ever evolving landscape of artificial intelligence, the gaming industry has become a hotbed for innovation and experimentation. Researchers from the MIAO, or Mind in AI organization, have embarked on a groundbreaking journey to enhance the capabilities of non-player characters in open-world games. This pursuit is fueled by the recent surge in interest surrounding AI entities in games, particularly after Gen AI boom and the growing trend of developing language agents to create more dynamic and engaging gaming experiences. Traditionally, game agents have been designed to perceive their environments through sensors, make decisions based on predefined rules, and respond accordingly. However, this approach has limitations in adapting to the complexity of open-world gaming scenarios. To bridge the gap, the researchers propose a shift from conventional agent design to integrating everything into language models. Framework the heart of this research lies in the revolutionary LARP framework, which is meticulously crafted with three main modules, each addressing a critical aspect of NPC intelligence. Number 1. Cognitive Architecture The cognitive architecture of LARP comprises four major sub-modules, long-term memory, working memory, memory processing, and decision-making. This intricate design aims to replicate the cognitive processes of human intelligence with game agents. By leveraging these modules, LARP enables NPC to learn, remember, and make decisions based on a comprehensive understanding of their virtual world. In cognitive science, long-term memory is divided into declarative memory and procedural memory, and declarative memory is further divided into semantic memory and episodic memory. Semantic memory can be viewed as a memory that conforms to game rules or worldview from an open-world perspective. Parts whose content does not change frequently are stored in external databases and parts are stored in long-term memory modules. Episodic memory is a memory of a specific event experienced by an individual and may be memory related to another player or agent, NPC driven by AI. It is stored in a long-term memory module and a decay parameters is introduced over time. Procedural memory is expressed as an API in the action space within the system. All recognized memories are stored in the semantic zone and episodic zone of the long-term memory module and are searched by a method called question-based query which generates questions on its own. Working memory is short-term memory that exists as a data cache and is generally acquired through observation of an agent. Perceived input information can be encoded, converted into long-term memory content, and recalled. In LARP, all structured observation information is processed and stimulated by combining it with retrieved content and storing it in working memory. This information is used as input to the decision-making module to continuously update the content of working memory. When working memory reaches a threshold, inefficient memories are filtered out and processed memories are stored as either semantic or episodic memory. Each unit of the decision-making module may be a simple information processing unit or a complex unit equipped with fine-tuned LLM. These units are infinitely expandable. Each unit can respond in a timely manner by updating the memory while communicating with a working memory in real time. The execution order of the units is determined by the LLM assistant, and the final output can be a task or conversation for the NPC. Number 2. Environmental Interaction Module the second module, the Environmental Interaction Module, introduces an action space that is learned through feedback. This means that NPCs within the LARP framework evolve and adapt their behavior based on the consequences of their actions. 
Additionally, a conflict identification module scrutinizes the agent's actions, ensuring they align with the dynamics of the game world. This adaptability is crucial for NPCs to navigate and thrive in the ever-changing landscapes of open-world games. In the open world, the agent must interact with the game environment. Action Space is an API that an agent can execute and includes both public and personal APIs. The decision-making module creates a plan and breaks it down into subtask objectives that are strictly ordered. The system integrates this with a working memory and retrieves it from each API via Retriever. If the corresponding task exists in the personal API, it is performed immediately. Otherwise, the prompt is completed with the content of the public API in working memory and structured code is generated using a fine-tuned LLM. Once the generated code block is executed and verified, it is stored in the personal API, regenerate new code blocks in case of failure. Number 3. Post-Processing Module The final piece of the puzzle is the post-processing module, consisting of an action verification module and a conflict identification module. The action verification module meticulously checks whether the agent's planned actions can be executed seamlessly, preventing incongruities that may break immersion. Simultaneously, the conflict identification module performs a continuous evaluation of the agent's actions, ensuring they harmonize with the evolving state of the game world. In order to have an agent with diverse personalities, pre-train it on a data set containing the perspectives of various cultures and groups, and then perform role training through supervised fine-tuning on the instruction data set built based on the QA pair generated from the SOTA model. Improve Playing Function LoRa can also be used to fine-tune models with various functions and characteristics. One of the most important things in LoRa fine-tuning is securing quality data. To ensure the diversity of the agent, we set up several post-processing modules, such as an action verification module to verify whether the action is possible, and a conflict identification module to check whether the decision or conversation conflicts with the agent's personality or game world view. The LARP framework represents a paradigm shift in the development of language agents for open-world games. By unifying cognitive architecture, environmental interaction, and post-processing, researchers aim to create NPCs that not only respond intelligently to their surroundings, but also contribute to a more immersive and enjoyable gaming experience. While the LARP framework demonstrates tremendous promise, the journey is far from over. Researchers acknowledge the need for continuous improvement in each module, enhancing the cognitive architecture, refining the environmental interaction module, and optimizing the post-processing module are crucial steps toward creating even more intelligent and believable language agents. NVIDIA's AI-Powered NPC NVIDIA showcased the most recent developments in its generative AI-powered NPCs at the Consumer Electronics Show, demonstrating player-generated dialogue that might revolutionize the game development process. NVIDIA's Avatar Cloud Engine technology generates computer-generated character interactions by fusing generative AI phase animation, text-to-speech answers, automated character personas, and speech-to-text recognition. Seth Schneider, Senior Product Manager of ACE, demonstrated how the two technologies operate together during NVIDIA's special presentation at CES 2024. Schneider claims that the demo converts a player's speech into text by interpreting it. After that, the text is loaded into a large language model hosted in the cloud, which produces an answer from an NPC. After the response tech is entered into Omniverse Audio 2 phase, the resultant spoken audio is lip-synced and rendered within the game. The demo is an improvement over an earlier iteration of the technology that was displayed at Computex in 2023 and showed a character conversing with Jin, the owner of a futuristic ramen eatery. In order to build on that, NVIDIA's latest demo has AI-generated dialogue between Jin and Nova, another NPC which can be different for every playthrough. 
The CES 2024 demo also features new technology from Convey, a different startup that enables AI-powered non-verbal communication to do more than just talk. These NPCs have the ability to interact with surrounding items. In the updated demo, Jin is shown taking out a bottle of alcohol after Schneider tells her to bring out the good stuff. Convey posted an asset showing that environment-aware AI NPCs would be able to interact with various things in the setting, such as lights, balls, and bottles. According to NVIDIA, several game developers are already making use of its ACE production services, which comprise Riva Automated Speech Recognition and the Audio 2 Face Generative AI for facial animation. Schneider listed some of the top digital avatar developers who are creating AI-powered NPCs for their goods, including Ubisoft, NetEase Games, Tencent, and Genshin Impact publisher MiHoYo. Although it's unclear which games would use these kinds of AI-generated NPCs, NVIDIA and Convey claim the technology will work seamlessly with Unreal Engine and Unity, two popular game engines. It's also unknown if the final product will be satisfactory or similar to Jin and Nova's chat, unnervingly strange. Despite the smart output of almost genuine talks, the delivery of each character comes across as artificial and weird. The new demo from NVIDIA is almost certain to result in one thing, a greater sense of distrust that AI, not real people, is responsible for the poor NPC interactions we'll see in upcoming games. Our latest collaboration is with Convey, a developer platform that enables easy integration of Gen AI powered game characters. Exclusive tonight, we take you inside the company called OpenAI Artificial Intelligence, their new technology, GPT 4. NVIDIA ACE is a technology platform that brings digital avatars to life with generative AI. Um, so, like right now, we, haven't, we have AI systems that can do tasks. They certainly can't do jobs, but they can do tasks. Here at CES, we are announcing ACE production microservices for audio to face and automatic speech recognition. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.